Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. This is a complete set of for an HVAC system consisting of compressor, condenser, collector, wire, expander and finally it is going to the evaporator. Today's video is connecting to our previous video. We plan to conduct four different types of analysis for this complete setup. This is the third analysis of our HVAC system. Uh, this is a very important part of our HVAC system. It is known as expander. Uh, this one actually works as a magic. The name itself explains its function. Uh, freon particles will be passing from this end to that end. And throughout this one, we are having specific type of valve. Uh, here you can see here it is very small opening is there. It will pass from this one at a moderate temperature and it will pass through this location. From here it will go upwards. So path of front parties will be from here to here and ultimately it will go along this direction. Let us start this simulation. The model has been made transparent for viewing the trajectory of these front particles and the leads have already been provided at the inlet and exit locations. The flow simulation environment will be initiated with the wizard itself. We are starting with wizard and keeping the name of the project as project 3. Next, we are keeping the unit system as SI and as usual we are taking pressure as megapascal and temperature will be in degree centigrade. Next, it will be an external analysis and it will be heat conduction in solids and definitely gravity will be involved and the direction of gravity will be y so we are providing the value of y as minus 9.81 meter per second square and in z direction it will be zero zero meter per second square next gases it will be air and refrigerant we are considering from real gases as freon one two three next expander material we are considering as brass so alloys we're considering this one as brass next default roughness parameters we're considering next thermodynamic parameters we're considering temperature as 20 degrees centigrade as atmospheric temperature and solid parameters will be also again same thing that is 20 degrees centigrade and concentration that means inside this expander no air will be there air will be forced from outside so concentration of air will be zero and concentration of refrigerant will be 100 percent that means one the direction of air it will be in the z direction at a velocity of 30 meter per seconds and it is having some specific direction z direction it is there so it is velocity 30 meter per second we can change the coordinate system instead of x it will be z okay let us finish this wizard template now you can see the domain it is very large volume we have to reduce this volume for our reduction of time in our analysis so computational domain let us edit this part we can make it smaller by dragging again from all the sides you can drag it to make the volume small and while making this domain we have to assure that all the parts of the model should be inside this domain nothing should be outside so our domain is ready we can check we can hide this part right now material has already been provided boundary conditions to be applied right now so for applying boundary conditions it is always suggested to have a segmented view of this model we can cut it along front plane we can check boundary conditions insert boundary condition and the mass for it according to continuity equation it will be same throughout it will be 0.1 kg per second and thermodynamic parameters it will be the output of the previous condition as the input of this one in the previous case our output was point, point 0.15 megapascal 
and temperature was 70 degrees centigrade substance concentration will be 100 percent of freon and air will be zero we have to select that location right we're selecting the location of these freon particles from here it will be forcing out to the extreme right location one boundary condition is applied now what to apply the second one boundary conditions insert boundary condition it will be atmospheric pressure at the exit location 20 degrees centigrade and 0 0.101325 megapascal at the exit location select green check both the boundary conditions have been applied properly now the last one the wall conditions we are considering the wall to be real walls and it will transfer heat by the way of convection and we are considering convective heat transfer coefficient to be 80 watt per meter square degree kelvin boundary conditions insert boundary conditions we are considering walls as real walls and it will transfer heat with a convective heat transfer coefficient of 80 watt per meter square degree kelvin throughout the external surfaces let us select the surfaces all the surfaces selected green check everything is done we have to select some goals and for selecting the goals it is always suggested to have a segmented view of this one let us cut it along front plan so we want to have two goals as surface goals goals insert surface goal and we want to have average temperature of fluid and total pressure at the exit location let us select selected phase number one green check now we want to see the complete view of our model our model is ready for running let us run this one let us start new calculations run it our solver window has already started running it is preferring the model mesh refining is going on let the iterations move on whenever it is finished we will see the results and go for analysis the solver window has finished its iterations you can see from the results first of all we want to see results in the form of cut plots insert cut plots and you want to see results from specific planes let us change the plane from here to the side one let us see from right plane and instead of pressure we want to see temperature of fluid green check it is showing that temperature is varying from 189 to minus 65 degrees centigrade that means at this location temperature is extremely high initial temperature was very low and after passing through this small opening it has reduced and final temperature is minus 65 degrees centigrade right so better to see these things in the form of an animation cut plot one let's play this part Similarly, we can see pressure distribution also. Let us see pressure distribution along this specific plane. This is pressure distribution. Uh, let us see surface plots also. Clear and hide this part. Cut plot one. Clear and hide. Now what do you see? Surface plots insert surface plots we will see all faces and it will be temperature of fit green check at different faces we can see the temperature of fluid at the boundaries at the inlet location temperature was high and at the exit location throughout the very field, it is very less it is in the range of minus 65.32 degrees centigrade now finally we will see the dynamics of these front particles in the form of flow trajectories let's clear and hide this part and we'll see four trajectories from left hand side to right hand side 
so four trajectories before that we can cut it along the specific plane four trajectories insert and instead of pipes you only see in the form of arrows only and numbers instead of 21 to make it 50 more numbers and the size we want to reduce a little bit and we want to see temperature feed from left hand side to right hand side so we we'll select that location select phase 1 is selected green check You can see the particles how it is moving some kind of circular motion is created inside here and after passing through this small opening it is maintaining a streamlined motion of film particles at very low temperature of minus 65 degrees centigrade better to see these things in the form of an animation so let us play this part Flow trajectories clear and hide, and let's play this part. You can see here with this very small opening, front particles are moving from left hand side to right hand side, and temperature of this one is reducing from 17 degrees centigrade to minus 65 degrees centigrade. And inside this one, when all these ferron particles are being gathered, uh, huge temperature is being generated inside. It is 189 degrees centigrade. Okay. Let's clear and hide this part. Now, finally, we want to see our results in the form of goal plots. Goal plots insert. I want to see both the goals show. These are the results. It is showing that exit temperature of fluid is minus sixty five point one three degrees centigrade, and pressure at the exit location is 0.12 megapascal. That means it has maintained almost constant pressure, but temperature was reduced from seventeen degrees centigrade to minus sixty three point one five degrees centigrade. These values we can change. We can optimize these values of temperature and pressure based on input variables so the input variables may be in the form of temperature of fern gas or maybe the pressure of fern gas from the inlet location by the same time we can vary the dimensions of different locations okay so this is all about our today's analysis this is a very important part of our HVAC system here we can see the temperature drop is very huge amount and this is in continuation with our second analysis where we conducted CFD solution through the dryer and we have another one to go on if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye